Hi Aquarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your weekly love reading for June 11th through the 18th. This is for the sign of Aquarius. Generally my readings are love readings, just take what resonates and leave the rest. We are, I'm going to get you one of these oracles, one of these, and if it flips over while I'm shuffling, you get to see it now, otherwise we will reveal it at the end. Please keep all negative comments about another sign out of the comments below because I will block it and delete it. I don't have time for negativity or bashing of other signs. And I, I, I'm no nonsense. I seriously am. I, no, no question. Block and delete. So just keep that in mind. Keep in mind that these readings can be vice versa. So this can be you or the person that you're dealing with. This is for the sign of Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know for this week of June? Now keep in top mind that timing is fluid. Could be this week, could be last week, could be next week. You know what I mean. Aquarius, June 11th through the 18th. If you'd like a book of reading, if you would like to book a reading, the information is below. To the lady that doesn't want to see me shuffle, tough shit. She sent me an email that said, um, we don't need you to shuffle. I didn't know that somebody died and left her world speaker. This is for the sign of Aquarius. You guys are probably taking back control of your life after a period of unhappiness, negativity. You may have been dealing with a negative situation, but it looks like you're dominating. You are dominating this negative situation, whatever it is. You're freeing yourself. That's what you're doing. You're making a change. It's like, you know... I'm, I'm not going to play this game. I'm not going to play this game anymore. I'm not. It looks like you're blocking somebody out. You could be blocking somebody on social media or just blocking somebody from your life. You're making some serious changes in your life, which are probably very um, emotionally satisfying. Okay? Whatever's happening, you guys are dominating the situation. You're probably feeling very emotionally content with your decisions. You are ending a negative situation in your life. Uh, making conscious changes, getting rid of drama and baggage. Um, you may be feeling like you've wasted, wasted long enough time. I've wasted enough time in this situation, you know, and it feels like you were dealing with a negative Nelly, whatever that is. I don't know or whoever that is, but let me get this zoomed in and we will go back. Somebody is, is uh, either you're holding on or they're holding on. So I don't know if somebody's still holding on to you. It's getting old. It is. It's getting old. Whether you've been holding on for too long or somebody's holding on to you, it's like, damn, damn, I have to release this. It's too heavy for me. I can't carry the, these burdens around with me any longer. You're weighing me down. Somebody is like weighing you down. I don't know who this is, but it feels like you probably don't even want to talk to this person anymore. This person doesn't want to talk to you. Something is going on. Um, whatever's happening, it's it's like you're 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 you. All you want is love. Okay, I want love. I want happiness. I want growth in a relationship. And with whoever this person is, 
it's like there hasn't been. And I think you've been reluctant to move away from it, but this week you may be deciding that you don't want to do this anymore. You don't want to. Maybe you're trying to figure out, you know what, you're making a clear decision as to what is going to be the best for your future. You know, I think you guys are probably trying to figure that out. Um, what else does Aquarius need to know? There could be a new offer of love coming in, okay? Or it just could be if you're with somebody, you know, maybe somebody is stuck on you, put it that way. Or you're stuck on somebody. But I feel it looks to me like you're making some serious changes. You are. You guys could be ending a commitment because you've heard some sort of truth. You re you've received some sort of communication from somebody that, you know, it, it may hurt. This is the raw truth is being delivered to you, whether it's via intuition or via another person. And it feels like you guys are having to take the most practical, responsible approach at this time. And there's been a, because whatever this person is that was offering you romance or love in the past, Whoever this per or or even right now, somebody is uh, is offering you their cup of love, or they were offering their cup of love, but they weren't really committed, and they were negative, and they were uh, discontent with themselves. It's like they weren't even happy with who they were, you know, and they just brought a lot of negativity into your life. Whoever this person was, um, and they're reluctant to see a new approach. They're reluctant to see your approach. You know what they do is they think, they, they, they point the finger at you. And this could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be another, uh, it could be another air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have Leo here. It could be any sign. We have Scorpio. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So it really could be any sign. But I think that they are reluctant to see your approach. Okay? They don't, they're not open to your perspective at all. They don't like to hear you speak the truth. So you know what they do? They point the finger at you. And they call you a bitch. And they call you a bitch or a, you know, the other word, I hate to say it, uh, uh, an ass, okay? Or they say, you're just, you're bitter. You're an angry person. You're hard to love. You know, they point, they try to turn around. You're dealing with a person who wants to point the finger at you. That's, it's like a, you know, I hate to use the word narcissist, but that's what a narcissist does. You know, so I feel like you are probably feeling a little uh emotional this week because you're probably out of sorts you know your probably emotions are probably all over the place because for one thing there's some gossip there's some gossip here and people are bringing you down there is okay three queens is gossip so there is some gossip there's and there's probably more another another woman in the picture <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm sorry to tell you. I mean, three queens. I mean, there's there's probably a third party situation here. There probably is, and you're like, what the hell? Somebody's gonna get hurt, and this person that you're dealing with um, is is totally. They're playing the victim. They're they're playing the victim to, um, emotionally blackmail you into thinking it's all you. You know what I'm saying? It's interesting. Interesting. Thinking, telling you that you're crazy. I'm going to shut that off. Um, Aquarius. Yeah, you need to make the clear decision. And this week you probably are. You are making the clear decision to accept the reality of this situation. You may suddenly decide to leave this situation and move on and head in a different direction. It looks like you're mastering your emotions. You are. And, and the thing is, is that there's a period of rock bottom, perhaps, in which you don't master your emotions, but then something clicks and you decide to move on because it happens very suddenly. So I think there's a sudden change that happens because wherever you're at right now, there's no stability, there's no security, there's no abundance, okay? There could be somebody moving out of your home. You could be moving. Somebody could be actually leaving the home, okay? Because things are things are completely halted. They're completely stopped in this relationship. Whatever it is, it's like it's like uh, you're headed in the right direction very quickly, taking the most practical feasible, uh, responsible approach and, 
accepting the reality of this this harsh situation. I feel like there's definitely a third party situation that is impacting your life. And I don't know if this third party situation could have to do with anything at all. But it feels like you guys are making a solid decision to walk away from uh, some sort of lies. You're, you're, you see the truth. You do. A tr the truth has been revealed to you. So I feel like you guys are getting out. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. So I don't know what this is. The two of wands reversed. It's like... You've been indecisive for so long. And maybe you're still decisive. Maybe you're still indecisive. Maybe you're still restricted. But I think that this is this could be a sudden change. And I see that. Because there's at one point you're overly emotional. And you're probably all in your head. But then all of a sudden you're like boom. And you're you're moving out. You're moving, Somebody's moving out. Either you're moving out or they're moving out. You're moving, somebody is moving away from this deceptive situation, whatever it is. There's been some dishonesty, there's been some lies, and there's been some unfairness with the justice card on the bottom, okay? And it's karma. So I feel like you guys are taking the bull by the horns, okay? And just leaving a negative situation. You're dominating. You are the dominator this week. You're getting your life back in control, back on track after somebody has held you back long enough. That's what it looks like to me. With that said, there could be a new offer of romance. There could be for some of you. And the thing is, is you may feel like you can't right now because you're still involved in this bullshit. And the thing is, is that you might want to give them a chance. You might want to give them the, give a chance. Okay? Just saying just saying someone may be wanting to establish a relationship with you and you might want to just give them a chance i'm just saying it could lead to victory and success with somebody new keep that in mind okay um but i feel like you are finally moving on from a situation that has been kind of like a dead end stopped halted done and you've been manipulated long enough and you see the truth and you are not I feel like you guys are about to use your sword to bring wish fulfillment to your life there could be some travel or apt or moving uh moving physically moving so I'm going to end it right there gentleness look that one up I'm not sure how that I imagine that is telling me to tell you to be gentle with yourself and you deserve to be treated with gentleness don't you Aquarius whoever you're dealing with is pointing the finger at you they aren't being gentle with you they aren't being gentle with your heart so I'm, I guess I'm not gonna read it you don't have to stay in a situation that isn't where you are not being treated with Love, respect, kindness, uh, emotional support. I feel like you haven't been for quite some time now. You've been dealing with a situation where you're dealing with a person who isn't emotionally supportive to you. And you deserve it. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Like I said a minute ago, there could be a new opportunity for love, but you might not feel like it's safe. It is. It is safe. You might want to give them a chance. Um, you guys are, are headed in the right direction towards victory and success in your life very, very quickly. Okay? And you are. You're headed in that direction because you're being the boss. You're taking the lead. You're dominating. You are keeping things structured and in control, and you are seeing the truth of situations. So whoever is pointing the finger at you, you need to point it right back. And that's my advice. Talk to you later.